So how important is your diet when trying to overcome eczema, dermatitis, rosacea, and psoriasis? The question is, how strict do you have to be? So I have to eat healthy. Well, how healthy do I have to eat? How perfect do I have to be? One of the really confusing things I think out here is when one of you guys goes to a dermatologist or a doctor and the doctor will look at you and say, yeah, you have eczema and here's what I can give you for it. It's typically some type of topical steroid or some type of pill that will be an antifungal, antibacterial, some type of harsh antibiotic for the gut. Either way, you're getting gnarly chemicals put on you. You're being diseased up by the doctor, the drug dealer, giving you your drugs that are not gonna take away the root issue, that only address the symptom, and generally make the, the symptom even worse in time. So the doctor looks at you and says, diet doesn't do anything and you cannot cure eczema at all, but I can give you drugs that will make it worse but will make the symptom look slightly better for a very small amount of time. Does that work for you? So then you go home dejected, depressed, and feeling absolutely horrible, like there's no chance your skin will ever, ever be healthy. And from the doctor's standpoint, you're right. He's right. If you believe diet does nothing, and if all you ever do is address the symptom with drugs, you will have eczema and dermatitis for the rest of your life and will get worse and worse and worse and worse. But if you view the problem from a different standpoint, from a place of knowing that the body is a self-healing mechanism, the body has the ability, if you put it in the right environment, to reverse skin disease. Look at myself. I am almost eight years cured of all of my skin diseases. I had rosacea, I had psoriasis, I had leaky gut, I had irritable bowel syndrome, and the two worst, I had eczema and dermatitis. I had it in several different places of my body, and for most of my life, I suffered greatly from the skin disease. I'm almost eight years cured. No symptoms, no issues, no nothing. And did I do that by listening to doctors? No. Actually, every protocol and program I've ever created for reversing skin disease basically goes right against what doctors promote. It's all about diet. It's all about gut health. It's all about cleansing and detoxification. When you put those three things together, the right diet, the proper cleansing, and daily movement and opening up the pathways of elimination, you put your gut and your digestion in a place where it can heal. When the gut heals, the immune system and lymphatic system heals. And when the gut, lymphatic, and immune system are healthy, guess what? Your skin has no symptoms. Your skin has no disease. So that's what the focus needs to be. And the only way to do that is through proper diet and lifestyle, but diet is the cornerstone. So by focusing 100% of your energy into the gut health through diet, you can reverse skin disease. So for the people out there who do not believe that eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis is a diet related issue, Head over to my website, holistichealthactivation.com, go to the testimony page and see the tons of people who've used a food-based system to heal their skin. Every single person out there that I've talked to, that I've interviewed, that I know, who's had eczema or dermatitis and who now does not, it's because they've used a diet and a consistent diet to heal themselves and they stay on that diet and they're consistent and it's the diet is the focus. Everyone across the board, I've never met one person who through the use of pharmaceutical drugs has cured their eczema. No one ever has. The question is, how strict do you have to be? That's, that's what people are gonna ask during this video. That's what you guys are probably thinking right now. Okay, so I have to eat healthy. Well, how healthy do I have to eat? How perfect do I have to be? And the truth of the matter is there is some variety. So not everyone has to be the, exactly the same with how clean they eat, but in the first year, you got to be super strict. You got to be ultra, ultra clean. I suggest doing a short cleanse somewhere between a month and two months long, and then jumping into phase two, which is the elimination phase where you figure out what foods work and what foods don't work for you. 
and then you simply move on to a nourishing phase where you continue with the holistic lifestyle, um, the daily movement, the cleanses, the detoxification, but you really hone in and focus on your diet. Once you get to phase three and you've established what foods you're gonna eat and you're eating those foods on a long-term basis, that's when the healing happens. You gotta get through the cleansing, you gotta establish what foods to eat, but then when you've been consistent, that's when the miracle happens. That's when the body starts to shift. That's when all of the biomarkers start to improve. That's when your brain starts to feel different. That's when your digestion stops hurting all the time. And it stopped, you stop being constipated or stop having to go to the bathroom 30 times a day. The diet is the key. And you have to be super strict with it. I suggest going so strict that and minimal that when you ease off of it, you're still in a place of eating super healthy. What do I mean by this? Let's say your goal is to be a whole food eater and you're gonna eat more of a primal and paleo diet. And you're gonna eat things like um, some vegetables, um, some really well processed or really well sourced meats and animal fats. And you're gonna sprinkle in there some things like MCT oil and coconut oil, a little olive oil, and you're gonna keep it really simple. Like, let's say that's what you consider ultra clean eating, and that's challenging for you. If it's challenging for you to be really consistent with a the diet, then go further with the diet for about a month or two months, and then scale yourself back. What I mean by that is, pick a food, a single food, maybe it's beef, maybe it's salmon, and, and literally go with that for as long as you can take it. Do a carnivore, minimal, mono meal diet for as long as you can stand. So if you decide to do this and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do salmon and chicken and a little bit of celery juice, that's, that's my whole diet, and egg yolks, four things, and you eat those four things for a month, well, you have just reestablished your palate. You have just absolutely changed your whole brain, the whole way your body processes food, and the whole way your body looks at food. You've just made it a lot more easy now to have a lot bigger variety of foods that you can eat and lots of different tastes by just being really serious and being really strict with your diet for a short amount of time. Now that's the way I would roll with it. Some people that doesn't work. Many of you are gonna have to go from your standard American diet or whatever diet you're on and slowly transition step by step into eating healthy. And if that's you, first step is to just stop buying processed foods and eating out. That's a great step for everybody. No more processed foods and no more eating out. Make all of your food at home and try to buy all of your food as whole foods. If you do that for a month or two and you really get that skill down, then move on to a little bit more disciplined. Okay, um, for breakfast every morning, I'm gonna have this, and for dinner every night, I'm gonna have something super clean. And then do that, master that for another month, and then move on. There's a couple different ways you can do it. That's the slow path, that's the steady kind of adding things and taking things away. That works for some people. For me, I like jumping in going really full, full minimal and full, just as clean and tight as you can for as long as you can. And then when you hit a breaking point, just ease up, back off, and you're still eating ultra healthy. This video is just a wake up call, guys. I'm not gonna get into the, the nitty gritty of what to eat and how to eat and all of this. I have plenty of other videos um, explaining diet, nutrition, cleansing, detoxification, opening up the pathways of elimination. This video's purpose is to help you guys wake up. If you are not already in the place of understanding that the number one thing for overcoming eczema is your diet, then it's time to wake up. It's time to focus on that. It's time to start the journey of learning what foods will work for you because it's gonna take a while and it is the most challenging part of overcoming skin disease. So I wish you guys all the luck in the world. Remember, Keep loving yourself, surround yourself with healthy, wonderful people that will uplift you and help you through this challenging time. Healing the skin is gonna take some time. It's gonna take about a year for most people. Don't be in too much of a rush, but really do your best to stay consistent and focus. Focus on your biomarkers and not the surface of the skin when you're looking to see if things are going in the right direction and if your biomarkers are not doing good, if they are all over the place, if they are not 
literally getting better every two weeks, then it's time to make a big adjustment. If you've been vegan or plant-based for six months and your skin is still absolutely horrible, you may wanna just make a big switch and go straight carnivore and switch all of those anti-nutrients and oxalates and, and fiber that may be causing you issues. What I'm saying here, people, is diet is very important. It's the most important thing when overcoming skin disease. If you focus on it and you do it right and you do it in a holistic way, your skin can heal. I've healed my skin. Many of my clients have healed theirs. You can do it. I believe in you. Do not listen to the doctors. Do not listen to the people out there that say, oh, diet doesn't matter. You're going to be diseased your entire life. Those people are misled. They don't understand. There's many of us out there that are healing their skin and living a life free of eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis and gut pain and nausea and itching and burning and all of that hell. The body wants to heal. The body wants freedom. The mind wants freedom. And I believe that if you just focus and work your ass off, you can do it. So good luck to you guys out there. Um, leave all of your comments and questions down below. If you have anything that you're struggling with, let me know. I can do my best to give some advice or tips. You can also find me on Instagram. Stuart, Rob Stewart is my handle. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. I'm, again, creating a rad community there, uh, eczema community, a skin health community, putting up tips and tricks, and just really trying to share my knowledge and experience with you guys so that you can start to get some relief and health with your skin as well. For those of you who are ultra serious and looking for a coach to guide you through the three phases or to help you heal your skin, there is a... Um, a link in the description box for our, a free consultation with me. You can do it over Skype, you can do it over the phone. I'm more than happy to help you guys figure this out. We are having awesome success with my clients. Um, if you wanna see where some people have been and where they are now, go over to holistichealthactivation.com and you can see the testimony page. There's a lot of inspiring stuff there. Also, um, a simple guidebook my process has all been put on paper on the three phases workbook. It is my three step process to learning what foods are gonna work for you as an individual, how to cleanse and detox specifically for eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis, and what holistic measures and lifestyle tips you need to be doing daily to make this thing work. So you can find that at holistichealthactivation.com too. Anyway, guys, much love. I will be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.